There we go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Elude Stalwart playing Elude Stalwart in episode 29 of Elder Scrolls Online. I'm a level 20 Nightblade. Last I was on, I made a couple of levels without streaming. I was doing some PvP battles and getting wrecked and trying to wreck myself, but wasn't actually working out that way. Um, I'm running around in Cyrodiil. I'm going to port back out though and get back on the main story quests and try to continue our progression through the storyline and learning the lore and stuff like that. I'd really be, I think, doing myself a disservice if I went ahead and bought Morrowind and learned all this new storyline and content without first experiencing the previous stuff. So. I want to make sure that this is a game that I'm going to play for the long term and that it's a story that I can get into. And so far it has been. It's been really good. I think the only way that I'd actually end up getting Morrowind is if uh, it just came down to I'm running with a group of friends and I have to actually get the expansion to run with them. Which may very well be the the case now that blood invited me to his guild but uh I'm gonna run around in circles here let's go home I uh, can't teleport out while I'm in Cyrodiil so maybe we'll exit Cyrodiil first I guess through here and then we'll, we'll oh well how do we get out I want to buy the exiting how do I buy the exiting? Maybe this? What if I... What zone am I in actually? The log. This is a guild quest. Let's do the main quest. The Tharn Speaks. This is Wormroot Depths and Grotwood. Okay, so we need to go to Grotwood. Actually, there was an option to show it on the map there. Okay. Do you see where that was? Wormwood Depths. Cannot recall in an Alliance War area. Okay, so how do I exit? Okay, here it is. This is the Dell, so I need to actually get to... Elden Root Temple Wayshire, but I have to get out of here first. So, how do you exit Cyrodiil? Is it a queue thing? Because I queued to enter it. Guilds, Alliance War, Scoring. Um, I don't even know. Battlegrounds? No. We're in Alliance War. This is how I got here. How do I leave? There's no path to exit through. Stable keeper, cloth of weaponsmith. I couldn't go through that door. Is it just to the west here? Is this is this the exit here? Yeah, I gotta get out of this little camp first. Or I could just keep PvP in. Kinda wanna see what the story's about. Let's see if maybe we leave this little starting area, if we can get out of Cyrodiil then. Ah, sorry horse. I actually hurt me. Keep going west.
This is that little tutorial camp where I can shoot ballistas and stuff. I don't think this is the exit. No, that's a tower. I don't want to get into that. Those are mountains. I can't just like run that way. I have a feeling that's going to be the same thing. Oh my goodness. What do I do? It looks like we got actually a good amount of numbers. When I was playing this last, we were the, uh, what are we? The Alderi Dominion? Oh, what is that? First person view? I'm, uh, Aldmeri Dominion, yeah. The yellow team. Last time I ran this, yellow team was far outnumbered. We actually got a good amount of people on right now. Maybe I can get up there into some action. But I feel really scrubbly and not good. Like, I don't know if that would actually be worth trying to go head to head with people. Until. Well, I don't know. Like, I'm getting alliance points and stuff, though. And maybe this is. Somehow I can get, like. Get rank points by participating in activities for your alliance. This is a home campaign. Like I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, that's gonna have to be something I do later because I'm not understanding too much of this. All right, we're connected to this one, so we'll port on over to the west here instead of having to run there. And then we'll see if we can actually run out the gate there. There is a way shrine that I can discover over this way. That's the gate I can hopefully exit the Cyrodiil zone from. We'll discover this. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And no, it's not letting me out. Well, screw it. We'll just do this stuff. LFG. Yeah, we're in a party now. Let's just catch up to these guys. They are up at Blue Road Keep. And I'm going to teleport to Castle Alyssa. I can at least do this. I mean, I'll learn one way or another. Oh, I can actually port to that outpost. That's nice. I thought you could only port keep to keep, but I guess any kind of thing like that that you control, you can actually port to. I got a few siege vehicles that last time I was playing, so... They're knocking doors down. I can at least head that way and help them out. So I'll follow the north, the northern path, directly north. This is the path. Then after I run out of stamina, switch to the horse. I'm gonna really be trying to pay attention to my moves and see if like maybe there's something I could be switching out because as it stands like I don't have any kind of defensive uh, nothing like all, all my moves are attack and uh, I don't really know my rotation off the top of my head I'm kind of like mostly two-hander spec so I got like charge and like a cleave which puts a bleed on them it's like a cone effect a uh, swirling uppercut. Well, actually, I have uppercut, which does something special because I've actually modified it. What does the uppercut do? I guess I could be looking at these. Wrecking blow. So I can slam them and do almost 6k damage to them. 
and I get empower so the next attack I use is going to hit harder. Assassinate for when they get low and then reverse slash to spin around and strike the enemy down. Dealing 2k and 300% with people with less than 50% health. So I should actually switch that one with this one. So my finishers are on 4 and 5. And assassinate I think I even might want to make that upgraded because I can afford the points. Alright, we're here. There's only one siege thing up. I'm gonna get my siege thing up. Ooh. Maybe this? Oh, wait. It's Q, right? Yeah, Q. There we go. And fire. And about 30 minutes later. Oh, they're shooting. Can I exit this thing? I'm gonna die. Let's keep working on the door. Doors at 30% health. All on the door, come on. Keep it going. Gate house is about 20%. It's a 35k down to 32k now 11k oh that's somebody else 26k come on keep it going keep it going my trebuchet is at about 30 percent itself i think we're gonna get it down before my shit's gone though keep going keep going oh i'm gonna die <laughs> it's worth it though it was worth it somebody revive me yeah, there's people reviving. I'm gonna chill and hope for a revive. Revive me! Yeah, man. Yeah! It's open. We're charging in. Why am I not able to charge? There we go. Dang. Drop back, drop back. We'll drop back if we need to heal. We'll press forward whenever we're aggressing. Looks like everybody just got wiped out by something. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Drop back, drop back. I ain't that strong yet. I can go tank mode and get some at least some defensive stuff going. defensive stuff up again by defensive stuff I got some kind of a spell reflect on right now yeah he's got it oh he's bugged Oh no, don't want to go in there. There's many peeps in there. The 
like they're rushing somebody. I'm just gonna help them with the rush. Cleave them, cleave them. Got that absorb magic going. We'll hide behind the corner here, get some MP5. Yeah, just in and out. That's all it is, just in and out. Get our defensive back up. It's all about not overextending and watching where your buddies are. Okay, let's siege now, they're saying. Bam! Bam! Oh, he made it. Oh, I overextended. I got greedy. I might get a revive if I'm not if if I'm patient. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Where can I put this trebuchet? Too close, terrain's not flat. Little area there, let's try right here. Here we go. Is this the door? Did I hit it? Yeah, I did. About right there. Just keep hitting that, that spot right there. Oh, I didn't hit anything that time. Right here. Just keep it right there. Let's try V? No. Let's try to see if I can get into first person. I think where it's at, it's too high. Alright, we're gonna stow this. I don't think I'm hitting anything. It's at about half. I guess we'll just pull guard duty. Yeah, they got plenty. Come on, keep breaking it down. It's a 43k. Keep sieging after the door open and clear. Oh, because I guess the bad guy's inside. Then go inside. There they are. got one shot oh man they were waiting that's all of them okay I think they just wiped us out all right we're gonna port back to the little station there and try to run up 
Dang, I feel like I got squished. I only saw the one guy. It wasn't until I died that I saw all the rest of them around. Oh, that loading screen. Come on, load me in. For real? It's going to take this long? By this time, everybody's going to be gone. Don't be mad at the push we made. Come on. Let me load. Give me the loading. Give me the loading. Oh my goodness. Am I getting DC'd? What happened? It's kind of rough going from that much action, combat, just back to back to back, to loading screen for two minutes straight. Three hours later. Head to Ash. They real build the door. Never mind break. What is he saying? I don't understand. Good one. Where are we going? We got capital Castle Alyssa's being attacked. I don't want to die. What are they saying? Ash enter at 10%. Goodbye, AD. What is Ash? Yeah, they're all heading to that place. This is why you should go for Sotha Sil campaign. Sotha the Sil campaign? I don't know what they are talking about. Completely DC, yep, good call. Can I not can I not go this way? No, I have to run there. Okay. Alright, so we're going southwest. How does horse points work? When do I get to make the mount better? What's up with the mount stamina right now? It's like going up and down kind of sporadically. Now it's completely drained. That's weird. You are ready to train a riding skill. Visit a stable, stable master. Oh. I wonder how that works. So next time I'm in or near a town, I need to talk to the stable master. Theo Realm has been removed from the group. Zerianus died.
looks like they're all just to the right in here. They're all kind of running upstairs. Two-handed increased to 21. Sure. Just wiped her boy out. Got a armor up. Oh! Oh! Get in! Get in! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they made me believe. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> can I revive here? Yes, I can. <laughs> the hell was all that about let's try Drake they said uh, where where are them boys they're going north what what are we doing what, what's going on here Who wants some of Debo? Sejanus? I don't get it. What are we doing? Nikel is being attacked. Nikel Outpost? Looks like people are splitting up. There's people over this way. It looks like this may be contested. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys, let's try to take Drake, they say. Alright. So I'll go port to the closest place near Drake and group up with them there. Drake Keep. Okay, so that's east. How are they suggesting we get there, though? The guy that called it was Anonymous Jr., so maybe follow what he's doing. Okay, guys, let's please try to take Drake. EP at Alacia A. -M. Well, yeah, I was just headed over there, buddy. Before you said, oh, let's go to Drake. Alright, so we'll head back that way and help out. Take out the Ebon Heart pack. What is this? Like, what's that for? It doesn't do anything. I can't interact with it, but I always see that pop up. Okay, let's go get the EP at Drake. Or at our lumber mill. Go horse. Faster horse, faster. We must save our friends. Oh man. It's a battle out here. Let's see, where's their caster type healer looking face person? See a healer. Just target the lowest health there. Yeah, man. 
So four when they're below 50 and five whenever they're below 25. Guys stick together. Um, we are together, I thought. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Okay. Um, Executioner, Magicka, whenever you kill an enemy with assassinate. Teleport strike would be kind of nice to slow people down a little bit. I'd probably replace cleave with that actually. That'll give me a little bit of uh, slow them down, speed me up type thing. Let's do that actually. That'll slow them down and speed me up. And then we'll get executioner as well. So, weapon and spell damage while sneaking are invisible. We're not going to get that. Weapon two-hander. Wanted to see... When I'm having axe, my melee attacks have an 8% chance to apply bleeding. Oh, that's nice. And nothing's fancy that I can do there. Immovable would be a good CC breaker, but... Is that an ultimate? I think there's an ultimate I could switch to that has something like that. Shield wall, I guess. I think we're good. Alright. Uh, thank you for the group. You're welcome. Bye later. What you're now? Safe, queen. Stars keep you safe, they got wardens. Now is the time to get your wardens kills. Alright, so we're going to teleport. We need to head... Back to the keep. They're at the door, they say? What door? I didn't even realize that my screen's all messed off here. I don't know why it keeps resetting. Sorry about that, guys. I could even lower it. I don't like how it snaps. You see how it's snapping? I'm not telling it to do that. How's that? Oh, I got a sneeze. <coughs> oh, didn't get it off. I did for the second one, though. Sorry about that sneeze there, folks. Alright, where are we headed? Siege in front door all. To what? Where are we headed? Oh, and I gotta transition that, that's why. Maybe that's why it always does that, because I, I know I adjust that, but I don't think I always transition it over. Alright, what are we doing? Postern door? That's some name you got there, Fred. What are you doing, Anonymous Jr.? Looking at the map. Uh, 
Um, looks like we need to head over to Castle Robeck. Oh, we can't. We'd have to actually run there. Huh. And that's just the western path here. Let's see. How do I leave Cyrodiil? The fastest way to enter is your character menu. Choose Alliance War. Each campaign's in How do I enter and leave? How do I leave Cyrodiil? Xbox One, once you go to Syria, lock forever three day campaign, enter my character, Dagger Fall 14, play regular story. Home. In your home base area, there's a way shrine, not the transitus. You travel the way shrine like outside Cyrodiil. From the way shrine, you can travel to the way shrine outside Cyrodiil that you found before. In your home base, there's an area, there's a way shrine, not the transitus. From what? I don't recall seeing Trace or much of Preet say you can leave Cyrodiil once and never out. I don't understand what they're trying to say. How the hell do I leave Cyrodiil? This guy here. Can't find any way out. Look at your map. Two keeps. Corner. South Morrowind. There will be two teleports. So go to that one on the Classic Way Shrine mini map once there. Modern Gamer is really daft now. Really man. It's like well. Me how to leave prompt was given and you try to leave literally tell you how he's gonna leave. Really man uh, uh, uh. Okay, so supposedly I could just get down here at this place. Transitus Transitus This one and then take the actual race right now. Now my only concern is it says you can port to a previously discovered way shrine outside and I don't think I've actually discovered any way shrine outside this place so that's gonna be interesting to see how that works group here we go uh, how do I leave where am I Good stalwart leave group yes now, supposedly, this links to other way shrines outside, and I could just teleport out. Aha! So this is the link to other ones. Now, I need to go to Gratwood, and this one. Yes! Okay, we're back on track, folks. Sorry about that squirrel moment there for the past hour doing PvP. <laughs> but uh I think we're good now. I think this is what we need to do. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Now let's make sure we're tracking. Ifray, yep, Tharn speaks. The storyteller who resides in the now. This way, search for information above. Now, inventory is okay. I'm just going to go beating down the door to this place. All right, last we were doing I guess we ended up having to go right okay so Tharn Abner Tharn has become a cloaked quest giver for us and he told us to go check out Grout Woods uh, worm place die, 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 die. <laughs>
Just help that person get that chest there. We're gonna try to use our teleport more. I know charge is pretty much the same thing. I don't know if I should have wasted my points on that. Cause I already have a gap closer, but flash through an ambush. I guess it's nice having a stamina and a magic kind of gap closer, but I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try the two out. If it looks super badass, we'll keep it anyways, just if it looks cool. Is this a werewolf? We got werewolves? Ooh. These guys have a lot of health. There it is. It kind of looks cool, but I kind of like charging in too. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as charge. Siphoning ability. Sap an enemy. Bolster your own. Reduce movement speed. Major expedition. Swallow soul. Soul tether too. Magical while siphoning. Drinking a potion gains that. Just seems to me like I could be using something a little bit more let's do it we'll go back to cleave all right so and let's actually switch those two three so we're gonna charge in cleave then wrecking blow and if whatever I'm attacking isn't below 50 by then it should be like we'll charge in cleave wrecking blow will put them below 50 and then we could do our reverse slash which is going to be buffed by 50 or 20 percent and it'll do 300 more percent if they're below 50 and then if all else fails assassination blade to close them i don't know if that's going to work the way i think but and this is a maximum damage i could do on charge here so that's a 7.6k crit. It's a little weird. I'll get used to it though. It's only weird because I've been used to just running in and not cleaving. Oh, I was out of stamina. Oh, that was weird. I was out of stamina there. I guess from running, right? Yeah, running. These are all stamina moves, too. It's kind of hard for me to get used to holding the button down. What? You interested in hunting something a little more dangerous? I'm interested in reading the ancient scrolls of Dwemer X. Ancient scrolls of the Dwemer X, the dowry by Morabar Sol. Yenile was the wealthiest landowner in Gunal, and over the years he had saved a tremendous dowry for the man who would marry his daughter, Jennifer. When she reached the age of consent, he locked the gold away for safekeeping and announced his intention to have her marry. She was a, com a comely lass, a scholar, and a great athlete, but dour and brooding in, as in aspect. 
This personality defect did not bother her potential suitors any more than her positive traits impressed them. Every man knew the tremendous wealth that would be at his be his as the husband of Jennifer and the son-in-law of Yenile. That alone was enough for hundreds to come Gunal to pay court. Come to Gunal to pay court. The man who will marry my daughter, said Yenile to the assembled, must not be doing so purely out of avarice. He must demonstrate his own wealth to my satisfaction. This simple pronouncement removed a vast majority of the suitors since they knew that they could not impress the landowner with their meager fortunes. A few dozen did come forward within a few days, clad in fine killart clothes of spun silver, accompanied by exotic servants, traveling in magnificent carriages. All who came met with Yenile's approval, but none arrived in, more, in a more resplendent fashion than Waylon Nerilik. The young man, whom no one had ever heard of, arrived in a shining ebon coach drawn by a team of dragons. His clothing of rarest manufacture. He was accompanied by an army of the most fantastical servants any of Gunal had ever seen. His valet had eyes on all sides of their heads, and his maidservants seemed to cast in gemstones. Seemed cast in gemstones. Such was not enough for Yanale. The man who marries my daughter must prove himself an intelligent fellow, for I would not have an ignoramus as a son-in-law and a business partner. He declared. This eliminated a large part of wealthy, wealthy suitors. Through their lives of luxury, they had never needed to think very much, if at all. Still, so came forward over the next few days, demonstrating. Still, some came forward over the next few days, demonstrating their wit and learning. Quoting, oh, and learning, quoting the great sages of the past and offering their philosophies of metaphysics and alchemy. Waylon Nerilek also came and asked of Yenile to dine at the villa he had rented outside of Gunal. There the landowner saw scores of scribes working on translations of Aldmiri texts or tracts and enjoyed the young man's somewhat irreverent but intriguing intelligence. Nevertheless, he, though he was much impressed with Waylon Nerilek, Yenile had another challenge. I love my daughter very much, he said. And I hope that the man who marries her will make her happy as well. Should any of you make her smile, and she, the, she and the great dowry are yours. Okay. The suitors lined up for days, singing her songs, proclaiming their devotion, describing her beauty in the most poetic of terms. Jennifer, Jennifer merely glared at them all with hatred and mel melancholia. Yanale stood by her side and began and began to despair. His daughter's suitors were falling to a man, or were failing to a man. Finally, Wenale Nerilik came to the chamber. I will make your daughter smile, he said. I dare say I'll make her laugh, but only after you've agreed to marry us. If she is not delighted within one hour of our engagement, the wedding could be called off. Yanile turned to his daughter. She was not smiling, but her eyes had sparked with some morbid curiosity in this young man, as no other suitor had even registered that, for her, he agreed. The dowry is naturally not to be paid till after you've wed, said Yanile. Being, is, is being engaged is not enough. Might I see the dowry still? asked Waylon. Knowing how fabled the treasure was, and understanding that this would likely be the closest to the young man would ever come to possessing it, Yanile agreed. He had grown quite fond of Waylon. On his orders, Waylon, Yanile, Glum, Jennifer, and Castellan delved deeply into the stronghold of Gunal. Ah! Please don't kill me! All right. Oh, where did it go? I wanted to see what the Yenile and stuff. How do I get to the? Is there? There's a way to read that, right? To pull that back up. Collections, maybe? No, collections. Mementos. Uh, journal. Journal. Lore library. 
Uh, what was the one that we... This is Grotwood. The Devouring... Oh, this is for lore books, though. Is there a way to... Maybe in my bags? Fold a note. How? Ah, uh, okay. What do you want, Sabon? Do you smell that? The air here. It's almost sweet. Be wary. There are vampires about. And that smell means they're on the prowl. Look, I can handle myself. I can see that. You didn't flinch when that vampire attacked. That was a vampire? Name Sabon. Me and my partners came here to hunt a certain vampire lord. But the infestation is worse than we thought. We could use someone like you. What's the plan? The beasts are feral with hunger. We're going to use it against them. Lure them into a trap. Before we get started, you really ought to meet the team. That is, if you're still interested. Absolutely. The camp is just south of the abandoned orc settlement. I'll meet you there. Excellent. When you arrive, I'll introduce you to the rest of my team. Blood hunt, nice. Okay, we're gonna still head to uh, searching for information over here in Grotwood. I believe this is a delve or dungeon. What, you want some of this? These vamps. Cool. Did they see me? This guy's got a whole round of them. Here. Get some cleaves off. Nice. Um, this is above us. We need to get up there. No chance we can parkour our way up, right? No, no chance. Okay, so we gotta go around. After we're done with that, gotta get around somehow. Come on, horse. Yeah, yeah. We gotta find a path. Then we'll hit up that uh, way shrine there as well. Many blood fiends. This is the path here. Now, there was a way shrine, I thought. Let's check the map. Yeah, yeah, it's still a ways up here, though. And, yeah, this is at the end of the zone. Let's go faster. We got a race here. Charge! All the little monkeys. We're gonna hit the Red Fur Trading Post Way Try. Just 
around the water here. I think we can make the jump. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so that's lit. Now let's go to the dungeons. Actually, ah, uh, that little thing was after us. I think I could just follow the path to it. I don't know. No, dang. We're in like a little town. Ooh, does this town have a stable master by chance? No, it does not. Sad face. Search my pecs, you will find nothing. He says, search my pecs, you will find nothing. But how jacked I am. Search my pecs. Search for information below. We're almost there. Worm root depths. Maybe this person has something to do with worm well, root Matt, depths. Even in the south, I can't seem to keep these old bones warm. <laughs> Share my fire if you like. As long as you bring no trouble with you. This war is for younger men than I. What are you doing here? Studying the ruins. The Aeliad Well, specifically. It's said the light from Aeliad Wells has rejuvenating properties. I'd hope to discover whether the light could be stored in a container, such as this. What did you discover? Nothing as yet. I found the ruin crawling with worm cultists. I'm just an old man, more at home in books than battle, so there was no way I could reach the Aelid well on my own. Still, I hope they'd have cleared out by now. I can reach the well. Let me help you. I couldn't ask you to risk your life. But you look like you can handle yourself, and truthfully, I wouldn't mind if the worm cultists found themselves in a little trouble. Take this crystal, and use it to gather the light from the alien well. Alrighty. Let's go here to the quests. Did he give it to us? Oh yeah, Grotwood, huh? Filled the gym at the alien well. Okay, so we're doing Tharn Speaks right now. I'm going to park by this fire for just an instant. I'm going to take a quick AFK. I'll be right back.
Alrighty, I'm back. Alright, we're about to get into th the Tharn Speaks. Abner Tharn wants me to head into this, uh, I think it's a delve? Maybe it's a dungeon, I don't know. He said to come here to Grotwood to this place, though. Wormroot Depths. Regarded by scholars of the arcane as the apex achievement of the wild elves' magical art, the so-called Aeliad Wells are believed to use aetherial crystals to aggregate magicka from starlight, even in the subterranean locations. Interesting. Yeah, supposedly. Oh. Why don't you warn somebody before you just sneak up like that, Abner Tharn? All right, what are we doing? Searching for information? Who wants some electric axe? You guys, do you guys want some electric axe? I guess we'll take the little guy out first. This guy's below 50, we can do our shuriuken. Alright. Two-handed axes increased to 22, nice. Alright, what now? You guys. Yeah, you ain't hit me with that stuff. Boo! Okay. Oh, okay. See how it is. I should have been a, an assassinate. Here comes an assassinate. Uh, this looks like information. The speaking stone. Oh, shit. Sai Sahan! I can and I shall. Where is the amulet of kings? You cannot break the will of a son of Yakuda. I spit on you. Uh oh. Sai Sahan is alive. He has not been broken. An important piece of the puzzle, to be sure, but where is he being kept? Uh, in, in, in that thing, it looked like. Uh, the Duchess of Anguish. The Duchess of Anguish, it became necessary to relocate Sai Sahan when it became clear that standard interrogation techniques would not work. His will is very strong, no doubt forged during the years he spent training in solitude attempting to restore the ancient Yokudan art of sword singing. Oh, cool. Despite his other failure to manifest his spirit swords, a task that came as naturally as breathing to the ancient masters, Sai Sahan maintains an unusually strong sense of self. When it was determined that he could resist or outright ignore physical pain, I had him relocated to the dungeons beneath the Imperial City to a location that might better be suited to break his will and extract information I seek. My contacts amongst Molag Ball's Daedric servants were receptive to the suggestion. After all, it had been years since any of them had had the challenge of breaking a subject with such a strong will. The lovely Duchess of Anguish has a touch that is like razors against flesh. Her voice sears the mind and soul, her lips are coated in venom, and her intellect is as sharp as her tongue. She has practiced her art as she... Oh, that scared me. <laughs> she has practiced her art for uncounted centuries, and I'm confident she will extract information from the Red Guard without killing him. I suppose the Red Guard will need to be disposed of when this is over. Once information is mine, perhaps I will give the Duchesses a gift. I'll give him a du the Duchesses a gift. She'll almost certainly kill him, but I think at first she'll enjoy him as a plaything for many long years. Who is this coming up in here? Quick bug? Oh, okay. Why don't you kill them people, quick bug? There you go. Rah! Give him an uppercut. Boom! That's probably a her, huh? Damn. A 
love it. What is this thing? I guess they were summoning something there. Okay, what now? Speaking stone above, and then there's something else searching for information. Let's check our map. We don't want to forget the sky shard. I didn't even see it there. Yeah, man. Nice. Two or three. So if we get another one, we'll get that skill point. Man, Marco. And the key to my ascendancy. Yet it is you to me. Exploiting its power to bring about the calamity of our age was intoxicating. It made me aware of the tremendous possibility of me. The Amulet has the power to create or destroy. But it also has the power to undo the damage caused by the soul burst, to mend the tear and the barrier between nerve and oblivion. The amulet, you say? Who fixes that which must remain broken? He knows of our plan to use the amulet to set things right. Ah. We must rescue Sai Sahan before he can be broken. The Chimel Adabal. The amulet of the Kings of Glory, pendant of the red diamond Chimel Ab Adabal. Alien relic of divine investiture. Investiture. Whatever myth exists concerning its creation, this much is a fact. As a vessel of Ak Akatosh's will, it is tied to him in a very real way. The corruption of the Dragonfire ritual was a taxing endeavor. I spent weeks inscribing the glyphs and preparing incantations that Equilarius fools foolishly believed would change his ancestry and birthright trusting simpleton Nern now no now lies adrift in the mundus vulnerable to the parasitic daedra that feast upon the souls of its people Tharn once asked me outright if the amulet could be used to repair the damage wrought by the soul burst subtlety was never part of abner's repertoire i could see the scheming machinations behind his eyes even as pledging his loyal even as he be pledged his loyal to me I think he knew even then that he was disposable. Who needs a scheming politician when one aspires to be a god? The answer to this question is, of course, yes. This is why I must seize the amulet and protect it. It is the vessel through which I will supplant my would-be master and assume dominion over two worlds. Why would a god settle for just one? All right, these things respond fast. I need to get in the habit of using my heavy attack more. Alright, what's next? Let me make sure I'm still headed the right way. Where am I? Yes. Come on, Abner Thar, what are you doing? All right, we got some bookshelves. Prudence and Practice, that's a staff. Notes on Elven Architecture, I think I've read that one before. A Request for Relief, it's enchanting. Ruins of Kamel Zay, part four. Husks and Bones, that's medium armor. Mora, Mora Atts, Theory of Lightning. Mora Atts, Theory of Lightning. Welcome to the new Aldmeri Irregulars. Okay. A guide to fishing. 
Rotwood Enigma. Okay, this is heavy armor, so I'm going to read this one because I wear heavy armor. We never knew where he came from. He showed up during our assault on the Rotwood Butchers, a nasty group that had been terrorizing travelers a couple days out of Evermore. We found their hideout, but were caught off guard when more were inside than we expected. There must have been an interest, entrance we didn't see. They had us pinned, trapped with filthy caves in the filthy caves they'd claimed, when out of nowhere he came clanking down the hall, covered head to toe in shining plate, and cleaving bandits in half with every swing. The tide turned. One afternoon- Ah! They had his pin covered to head to toe. Okay, yeah. He came clanking down the hall, covered head to toe in shining plate and cleaving bandits in half with every swing. The tide turned. One after another, Rotwood scoundrels fell to his blade until none were left. I thanked him and asked him his name, but he did not respond. Confused, I tried introducing myself, telling him about our company and the work we'd been taking down or taking on to clear out the bandits and beasts all over the northern bank Bankorai? Nothing. Frustrated and a little disturbed, we left the cave and headed back to camp. He followed. I told him he wasn't welcome if he was going to keep up the silent treatment and hide his face from us, but it didn't help. Everyone was on edge, uneasy. We didn't see any sign of aggression, and I don't think anyone wanted to raise a sword to challenge him after the carnage with the Rotwoods earlier. It just went on like that. He never talked at all. He took his food alone, off away from the camp, and never seemed to sleep. He just propped himself up against a tree and rocked at night, uh, a tree or a rock at night, never once taking off a piece of that armor. None of us had seen the like of it before, all smooth, rounded pieces with strange feathery engravings. It was beautiful, silver with dark swirls covering him entirely. We were uncomfortable at first, and who wouldn't be? But he never hurt anyone aside from the bandits we rooted out, and by Stendar, did he ever hurt them. We warned Oh, and by Stendar, did he ever hurt them? <laughs> we warned his presence probably because he saved our skins over and over. His was the blow that ended Swamp Heart the Fetid and, filthy, and a filthy hag that had been abducting innocents. She'd cast some horrible magic that slowed us all down, all but him. He was one who saved Riles the Leaves from being tossed over the cliff by the boar Bloodgut who'd assailed several farmers and their livestock. He'd even saved my own life more than once. He was tireless, fearless, and it seemed dedicated to our goals. I wonder to this day if he had a name, or if he was even a he. I want to get back to the story, come on! Ow, that hurt. This guy? Are you the one that the story's about? Come at me. Yeah, that's right. Alright, if he was even a he... Uh, this is the root wood in water. And by Stendar, he was the one dedicated... Okay, I wonder to this day if he had a name, if he was even a he. I guess we'll never know. Six months he tropped along with us on our contracts. And for six months we proposed more than ever, we've added a new blood to our roster. When winter came on, we headed back to Evermore for our usual time off. It's slow getting good it's slow getting good work on the cold months, and one morning he was gone. No sign, no tracks, nothing, just disappeared. No one I've ever spoke to has ever heard of him or anything like him. I get a lot of funny looks whenever I tell the tale. No matter, whenever wherever he is, I hope he's doing well and carrying on the good work. That was pretty cool. Heavy armor. Legit. Alright, come at me. Rah! You see this heavy armor. Alright, who's next? Guild mage sneaking up. Let me uh, just use that real quick. Thank you. There should be something here. Information. Yes. Here it is. Alright, Abner Tharn, do your thug thizzle. The Red 
guard's iron will cannot be overcome with standard interrogation techniques. Physical tortures appear to be useless. Physical I have therefore tortures? instructed the Daedra to move Sai Sahan into the Halls of Torment. The Duchess will be most pleased to have a new guest. His flesh is strong, but perhaps her tortures of the mind will break him. Oh. I have come too far to allow this upstart sword master to thwart my plan. It's a body right there. I will find the amulet one way or another. This is the information we've been looking for. I didn't really catch what... The Unbreakable Red Guard. For all of his self-doubt, Sai Sahan has proven monstrously difficult to break. Perhaps the years of physical training he endured to condition his body to make the tortures of the flesh pale in comparison. Likewise, threats of bodily harm to friends and acquaintances have no effect. He merely closes his eyes and promises to avenge them. So deftly he pulled the amulet to king from the fingers of very and withering husk amidst the chaos of the soul burst. And then he was gone, fleeting in the shadow of the night. I must have it back if I'm intact to enact the final stage of my plan. Since that day, I have played waiting the waiting game as Molag Ball's plain meld continues unabated. For the time being, this works to my advantage. But I must find the amulet before the plain made plain meld concludes, or my plan is doomed to failure. I would tear this continent apart, stone by stone, if I had to. But for now. I shall be patient. Sai Sahan cannot endure these tortures forever. He will break, and the Amulet of Kings will be mine once again. Alright, what's up, Abner Tharn? At last. Sai Sahan has been taken to the Halls of Torment. Do you know where that is? Oh, yes. It's Cold Harbor's most nefarious prison. The Daedra in the Halls of Torment reach deep into the dark places of a prisoner's mind and torture them with apparitions of the things they most dread. That sounds a lot like what happened to Lyris. It's an effective tactic. The Daedra mock our emotional attachments and the memories that form our sense of self. Daedra have no use for such things. They are immortal. It's impossible to kill Daedra. They simply reform over time. We need to rescue Sai Sahan. Can you get us to the Halls of Torment? Of course I can. I am Abnathan. Hmm. The first. I have a bit more research to do. Okay. Go back to the Harbridge and tell Varen what we've discovered. I'll meet you there once I've made the necessary preparations. Very well. Ah, it'd be nice if I could just teleport like that. Actually, I can. I think I can. Alright, here's the well. I did the well thing for the guy outside. I need to... I think I need to kill a boss in here. In order to get the delve completion, right? But was that the guy that I killed in the hallway earlier? Oh, excuse me. That was a pretty big dude. The one outside the heavy armor thing. Steel girdle of stamina. Two-handed mace. 1276. This hits harder. Oh. This is it. This is the guy. Uh. Oh, block. Yeah, you ain't getting me with that. You ain't getting me with that. Get some of them assassinates off. Nice. Stunning Wormholes. Is this? Please be a... Staff. No. I wanted it to be a mace or an axe. Alright. Worm, worm Root Depths Explorer. So we're going to head north to exit. And then go turn in this mission right outside the cave. And then to the harborage it sounds like. To talk to the prophet again. That was a pretty good delve though. I like that. Hurrah. Ugh. Hit the button. Alright. I can't pass up a good fight. Rah, I'm out of stamina. Maybe I should get like a... Well, I guess if I don't just always charge in, I probably have enough stamina. 
We got like a portal up here? It's that arch. Okay. Demora Curl? Assassinate. What would I put if I didn't want... No, I think I'm going to stick to stamina. I kind of like the way my moves are set up right now. Alright. Crop wood. This region is the southern heart of the Wood Elves Great Forest. Come on. So Sai Sahan's a beast. Dude just sitting there taking punishment. Uh oh. Something I think I got mail. Oh, you returned. Yep, I'm back. And I can sense the alien energy you carry. Uh -huh. So I don't even need to ask whether you were successful. I hope you caused plenty of trouble for the worm cultists. Oh I did. Here's your crystal. Oh, thrilling. I can just imagine the heroics. I'm sorry. Most of the pleasures of old age are vicarious. <laughs> At least I still have my research, which you've helped immensely, I must add. Thank you. All right, so we got the Clumsy Alchemist's Van Bracers here. They're 1290 armor, which is significantly more than I have. And they add stamina, increased experience from kills. Uh, the armor that I would be replacing is level 12. It gives me max health and adds weapon damage, but just getting a new weapon will add it weapon damage. And he's going to give me about 46 gold. I'm going to put those on. Yeah, man. Okay. Militaries. Nice. Oh, here's a chest. Oops. Anything useful? Gloves. Linen gloves. About 200 gold though, that's not bad. Um, now the way shrine. We can actually go home and then take the way shrine from the house to Harborage. I don't know if this is actually going to be faster. We do need to visit the stable master uh, from what my little tooltip thing says. Supposedly I can train something from my horse. I might increase his speed. I don't know if I should increase his speed, his stamina, probably his speed, right? Or I think the third one's inventory, like your mount stores items for you. Oh, I forgot about that. I could be using my mount's inventory. The Volkel card. Oh, and I got mail. What was the mail? Rewards for the worthy. Pauldrons. Ooh. 229. 2229, I mean. 296 health. Munda stone effects increased. Sure. That's going to give me a lot of health. Oh, and something else I might want to consider doing is a dungeon. Oh, nice. Legit. And I need to sell some stuff. Um, let's see. My, my mace is super boo-boo. Two-handed mace. This is a belt. This gives me stamina. More armor. Okay. Um, I think that's all the use, useful stuff I can actually where I can put max health on something on what though has to be level 15 or above 19 that has health on it already maybe this girdle right now it's giving stamina yeah let's do that enchant 
296 max health. I thought it was more than that. 643 max health. This has stamina on it. 643. So that's going to go from 285 stamina to 260 health. Cool. Alright. Let's vendor some stuff and see about that stable master. He's just to the east of me. Stable master, I'm sorry, she's just right next to me. Welcome, friend. When your character has a mount set active, they can take writing lessons provided by the stable master for a small amount of gold. Use the plus located next to the desired skill to increase it. One writing lesson will be offered by the stable master every 20 hours, so don't forget to view this all oh, daily. I've already missed this a few times. All right, so increase the movement speed. Increase stamina or increase carrying capacity. Uh, I think movement speed would probably. Because stamina, I mean. I run out of stamina pretty quickly, but he seems to keep on sprinting. I think if he's just faster overall, that'd probably be. Whoa, okay, so this is 60. I get 1% per up to 60. So this is going to take 60 days. Man, I should have been start on that. Looking pretty good. Alright. Um, the Harborage. Right. Here. Yes. And don't forget to sell your inventory. Gotta sell my inventory. Once the Prophet was a man of vigor and strength. Some harrowing experience has aged and diminished him, leaving him blind and almost feeble. Isn't he actually the Emperor? And didn't he go blind from reading the Elder Scrolls? Varen Aquileros. An unexpected visit. What brings you back, Vestage? Tharn and I discovered where they're keeping Sai Sahan. At last. Yeah. Where can he be found? A prison in Cold Harbor called the Halls of Torment. Well done. I will begin searching for a safe route to the Halls of Torment immediately. Is there anything else? I was going to say that a river flows and we are slaves to its current. But I am done with riddles. <laughs> I don't know what awaits us. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a foolish old man who glimpsed the wisdom of the scrolls and survived. But can you find a path to the Halls of Torment? Or, but you can find a path to the Halls of Torment, can't you? When Tharn returns, Ooh. we will combine our Goodies. resources. We will find a path to these Halls of Torment soon enough. Ah oh, man. Magicka. This will give me health. This is a uh, armor glyph. And skill and 400 gold. Nice. Completed. The thorn speaks. And we got a skill point. Oh, that we have two skill points. What what can we put these into? We got uh two-handed is level 23. Reverse slash is gonna be cool when we max that out. We got one-handed shield. Achievement unlocked. The thorn speaks. Tankage stuff going on there. Heavy armor stuff. I could get immovable, but not really. Don't don't think I need that. Assassination. What can we do about assassination? Convert stamina and deals disease damage. I'm already using quite a bit of stamina. This allows me to use it at a range. Master assassin. This is if I'm invisible then I get stuff but I don't really go invisible a lot shadow cloak I'm not really been using dark vigor increase max health for two percent for each of the shadow ability slotted but I don't have any shadow ability slotted on either bar actually um, 
and I don't think there's yeah there's not really a shadow ability I would want to slot currently I'm using siphonings ultimate and this gives me a bunch of health and AoEs people I can get a point of ultimate whenever I use a drink or max magica I think I'm just gonna hold off on this stuff might be something I could spend those on a little later. So we're gonna go to... Wait, what did he say I needed to do? Is I supposed to talk to him again? Oh, we got a book here. Chronicles of the Five Champions 4. I am Grand Chancellor Abner Tharn. Overlord of Nibine and the head of Elder, the Elder Counselor. I advisor the emperors and kings for 117 of the 164 years that I have been alive. I did not come to my position of influence through luck or nep nepotism, but rather through extreme discipline, ambition, and cunning. And yet here I am, conspiring with idiots and fools in a musty hole in the ground. How the mighty have fallen. In the year... The year is 2E582, but I'm unsure of the precise date. I've lost track, given the gravity of the monumental task that is before us. After reading the previous entries in this chronicle, I felt it necessar necessary to offer my side of the story, so I'm not misrepresented by f future or misrepresented by future historians. We have we Tharns have held positions of power throughout Cyrodiil since the days of the Potentate. We are prized for our loyalty to the Empire, our deaf political machinations, and our ruthless subjugation or elimination of dissenters within the Imperial territories. What we do is grim work, but it's necessary if the Empire is to endure. Do I sound boastful and egotistical? Perhaps I am, but I shall put these words to paper so that you, the reader, might understand my views and my actions and their place in the long view of history. For nearly 30 years, I advised the savage men of the Reach from Durakorach to Leovic, and their long brutish dynasty ravaged the Empire. They lasted longer than many of the would-be conquerors that came before them, but their alien nature and low heritage made them unfit to stand in the presence of the true-blooded sons of Colovia or Nibine. Their most grave insult came when Leovic, youngest of their line, sought the hand of my sixteenth daughter, Clivia, in marriage, that she might rule with him as an empress. Sixteen daughters, damn! Like his grandfather before him, who married Viraxia, Tharn, Leovic hoped that our family's connections and pure Nibinese bloodline would somehow legitimize his claim to the ruby throne. It was an exercise of fertility and exasperated me to no end. So when Varian Aquileros, the son of a Colovian duke and a powerful military leader in his own right, contacted me in secret and sought my assistance to depose those foul strangers from the north, I eagerly agreed. The war was long and bloody, but armed with my knowledge of the imperial city, Varian eventually led his armies of rebels to the palace gates. Varian drove his sword into the Leovic's black-blooded heart and watched him die, choking on his own lifehood at the foot of the ro ruby throne, and immediately declared himself to be emperor. For my loyalty and assistance, he agreed to take my daughter Clivia as his bride. After Varian's betrayal at Man Marco's hand, it pained me to hand the reins of the empire over to another outlander. But the King of Worms is a dangerous enemy. To ensure dominance of necromancy over all other forms of magic, Man Marco immediately cast the Mages Guild out of the Imperial City. Then had all the remaining dissenters arrested and enemies of the state. As enemies of the state. I did not wish for my name to appear on that very long list, which only grew shorter when the executions began, so I pledged my loyalty. In return, I was granted stewardship in the Imperial City. My daughter Clivia, still the Empress Regent, became the titular ruler of the Empire, but Manmarco remained the power behind the throne. Of course, Manmarco turned on me the moment my usefulness was expended. I was marginalized and cloistered away in a tower of bones, and my daughter was turned against me. Lured by Manmarco's promise to teach her the dark arts that would give her mastery over life and death. But now, but know this, dear reader, 
I will take the Empire back. I will restore order out of chaos. This is my only ambition and my ultimate desire. I will strike down any who stand in my way with all the fires of the Daedric sorcery I can command, and those who dare thwart me shall be damned to the pits of oblivion for all eternity. Alright, Abner Tharn, I hear ya. Alright, so collect the du Dwemir ring. How do I get to that? Collect the Dwemir ring? I think I'm also going to do uh, a dungeon. I'm going to do a dungeon right now, actually. Because I need to do at least one dungeon finder for the premium undaunted ex supplies. And I'll tank it just for insta queues. Do it. Should get a pop pretty quickly. There it is. Let's do this. Just waiting on a DPS, it looks like. Where is this thing at? Oh, it's out here. The Banished Cells 2. The High Elves live long lives and have a talent for magic. Sometimes as Altmir's pursuit of magical power leads to tampering with forbidden knowledge and illicit dealings with the evil Daedra, it was to confine such trespassers that this place was built, I guess? Your character writing skill applies to all your mounts. Ooh, good to know. Only recently discovered mounts were shared across characters. Poor Syria. Hey, you good quest. I know people here are in a hurry, so I'm just gonna blaze the through the stuff many, here. As you remember, I Most groups, I'm lucky if I can just keep up with them. Even as a tank. We going? Looks like they're all ready. Got my healer. Got my healer. I don't really have much in the way of AoE for my tank set. You're going to fight your way through all of the keepers? <laughs> How amusing! Come at me. Ooh. Use my ultimate as the AoE. Try to keep my healing soul siphon thing up. And my defensive abilities. Man, that absorbed magic gets knocked down as soon as I cast it. I don't like letting my absorb magic stay up. I guess that just means she's a spellcaster.
Which way? What, straight? Yeah, straight. And charge! That's a big dude. Scary. That was loud. Look at me, buddy. I don't really know. I don't know if I remember this big old dude. Maybe take him out of the fire, right? Oh, that that's bad stuff. I think I'm supposed to kite him, I don't know. Hopefully I don't make people mad by moving him too much. I'm on fire! Come on! So much fire! I'm trying to kite him, but... doesn't appear to want to work for me. Somebody went offline. Come this way, buddy. He's that ultimate to finish him off. Greaves of the Tormentor. I hope I did that right. I wonder what Daedra you could bend. Who's this guy talking shit in the background the whole time, though? DC. Was there a better way to tank that guy? I'm still very new, sorry. Here we go. That was the healer that took off. Said he doesn't know that he only DPSs. Okay. Cool. This is the guy that's been talking smack the whole time. Alright, maybe we should get rid of this healer. What is this? Notifications? Yes. Yes. Awesome. So they did it. They got rid of him.
I need a better sword and shield. Oh, looks like we're going. Block that swing. Yeah. He's telegraphing pretty big. That's a big telegraph. Block that one too. Ultimate. Oh! Use that ultimate. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. We earned that one. We earned it. I don't know where the healer was. Got a nice upgrade there. Direct upgrade from the ones I was wearing from level 12 up to this level 21. Awesome. Okay, so that's that, right? We're done here. Try again. Does it when someone goes offline and gets kicked? Oh, no, no. There's still more. He can teleport to us, though, right? Oh, my God. Didn't warp me. You can warp to one of us, right? I think he can warp into one of us. I'm not in any hurry. Okay, yes, here. Sweet. <laughs> He's DPS with their itchy trigger fingers. Look at him. He's dying right now. He's like, I gotta kill something. <laughs> Sorcerer and the Templar. I bet you Templars feel pretty invincible. Of course, I don't know. Like, I don't really... I don't have a good idea of any of these classes in this game. Not yet, at least. Where's he at? He's coming. Cool, cool. Welcome! Potion. that ultimate. Yeah, man. Zooming around. Someone died. Ah! Whoops. He got away from me, it looked like. Oh, they're starting. Ah! 
Oh, he got one of his biggins off. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What's happening? Some healers, I think, baby you too much. Like, you get too well taken care of, and then you get these other healers who are learning just like you're learning, and then it's like, ah! <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. Make sure we don't have any friends popping up anywhere. She looks all sparkly. These are ultimate on all the little guys. Our ultimate's an AoE. It stuns everybody it hits. And it hits them for a pretty good amount of damage. And it heals me. So it's a pretty good ultimate. I don't really have any defensive cooldowns or anything. So. And I don't really have any like taunt cooldowns or anything either. Look at me. Look at me. Our healer dead. Died. Oh no, we got a dead healer. I think it's standing in the poo that's messing everybody up. know how much of this is actually just them getting away from me. Resum, 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 resum! Here's our heal. Roll out of that. Come on, look at me. Use our potion as soon as we can. Keep our swallow soul going. <laughs> look at me. There we go, we, we got this. We got it. Oh, I should have saved my ultimate. Damn, could have used it right there. Good, we got this. Here's our swallow soul. Get in there. All the little guys aren't too savage. Come on, look at me. Healer died again. I'm gonna attempt to res the healer. That ultimate. Can't get out of that quick enough. Watch all the schmutz on the ground.
Where are you at, lady? ultimate to get those since these are bigger I assume they hit harder so I've been saving my ultimate not for the little guys but for those medium sized guys yeah man we're doing good now I don't have an ultimate yet but I can taunt everything. There we go. I didn't realize I could spam that taunt move like that. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Woo! Let's use my ultimate on those guys because she's pretty much dead. Where are you at, lady? Very nice. Good job. Oh, and the inventory's full. Well, damn. Uh, destroy, yes. Destroy. Come on. I'm coming. See, they don't wait. Tank, healer, who cares? We're going. <laughs> Let that guy get smacked down before I taunt to. Sorry about that. Bags are full. Ready, folks. How much more powerful could you be made with my gifts? You are left first. Got it. Oh, that hurt. Kill one without shield. Are they telling me that, or what do they mean? Why'd they say left first if we're gonna kill this one? Okay. I ain't mad. Ow. I could be avoiding this stuff. Oh, okay, I see. They get a buff that's a shield. Oh, right. So Sister Vera has the shield on right now. That's why her name's kind of white looking. And Sister Shino doesn't have the shield. And I need to quit stepping in that stuff. Sister Sheena's almost dead. Sister Shino has a shield. We need to kill Sister Vera. Sister Sheena has a shield. That's this one here. We're gonna use our ultimate on Vera. Oh, I'm getting like sapped or something. Why won't you die? Sister Sheen is up next. And ultimate. I think we already used our ultimate. Woo! Sasha Sanctuary. Okay. 
inventory still full. Destroy some stuff. I wish there was a hotkey for destroy. I'm just getting rid of whites. Nope, that's junk. My bad. Destroy. All right, now let's go. He's already pulled. Oh no, no he didn't. Die, don't die. Oh, I switched to my sh weapon for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Somehow I accidentally switched to my two hander. You've made it through a lot. Good. All right, what does that mean? Let's Wait. face him. All right, goodbye. These guys do oh, not wait. I break my oath as keeper to see Relis finish. And if he escapes, all of Tariel oh. will pay for our folly. I don't remember this stuff. I wanted this for so This is that quacking bastard. Knocked back for him. How? Maybe not stand in the schmutz. Oh, we got two big guys out here. Oh, man. Ow! Ah, oh, I'm in a bubble! Don't let me die! Run! Get off of those guys! Low health. Heal up! Use our ultimate to heal. Swallow soul up. Keep his damage reduced. I just wanted to make sure I had threat of those guys back there. Those ads seem like they should die, but these guys want to DPS race the boss down. Oh, the healer. Oh, these guys hurt so bad. Why? Why? No! I think ads have to die as they come out. I'm sure they've probably been in groups where they could just DPS the boss down before the ads overwhelm you. But that was not the case for us just now. Oh, right, he can run up the stairs and reset. Oh, wait. He's reviving me. Okay. Yeah, all that getting punted up in the air stuff was not fun. Okay, okay. Ready? They look ready. Yes. Go 
for the ad. the little bubble down. Just like bubbling people. All right, another ads up. I can't charge through that junk that he throws. Yet I still try for some reason. Use our ultimate to clean that guy up. I'm pretty sure I just missed both of them with that. Okay, kill the little orbs. The easier they are to kill, the quicker they should die. Looks like our healer's down. Come on, just take the little orb down. There we go. Look at me, buddy. Look over here. No, no, no. They got the healer up. Nice. Oh, get out of the schmutz. are back up. I'm gonna go for him. Fantastic. Ooh, I got a shield. That's a level 21 shield. Max stamina. We're going to put that on. That's a blue shield up from this green that we had. Very nice. Thank you all. Cheer. Yeah. 
There w <laughs> cool. Go ahead and complete this. Ooh, some legs. This has uh, been a very lucrative run for me. Yeah, buddy. Emeril, my fellow keepers. And we got a skill point. Did I succeed? Thanks to you. Did I succeed? Keeper's oath is fulfilled. We are free from Daedric corruption. Man, I got all kinds of stuff from that. Deadly bash, improved standard and bash attack, bashing attack still 50% at Okay. Yeah. Your sacrifice ensures he will never return. Ransack would have been nice to upgrade. What happens now? We can lay our burdens. What happens now? He's all deaf. Dying's made me really deaf. Thank you, my friends. For everything. Yeah, man, you're welcome. All right, let's get out of here. I think I'm going to go ahead and call that stream there, too. As soon as I get out of this, I'm going to go somewhere safe and uh, park it for the evening. Man, that was a good group. And it was stressful. Like, the difficulty really does scale with those things as you get higher level. Like, that shit has gotten a lot harder. Alright, so we're going to go home. And I'm pretty much just going to clear my inventory, recharge my weapon. Apparently I need to do that. Um, yeah, just a, just a few maintenance and upkeep things. I could just do that offline though. So I'm going to close that out here, guys. Uh, this has been episode 29 of Elude Stalwart playing Elude Stalwart in Elder Scrolls Online. I appreciate y'all stopping by and visiting the stream. Please move on over to YouTube and give this video when I upload it a like and some comments. Thanks for stopping by.